Armity. Hiya, kid. We're back again. All your folks and moms and dads and you kids, we're all here together again. Here on what time is it? It's Captain Kilman time. It's time. We sail in to port and we're here on Captain Giltman time with my puppet. That they, it's the pirate puppet. Pirate puppet, that's me crew. And we're here to stay, to do a show for you today. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna learn something new today. What are we gonna, I know what we can do. What are we gonna do? Let's learn about the military. Military? We just kicked our butt in there said, not that kind of military, that's back in those days. What's happening about the military? Like the Navy. Navy? Yeah. Pirates in those days were Navy commanders and they were quartermasters and, and they were crews. All different levels before they became pirates. Really? Just like you were. Oh, yeah, yeah, I served in the crew. That's right. That's why you are a quartermaster. Kind of like, sort of like a lieutenant. In the Navy, that would be captain in the Navy thing. Or the second or whatever works. Quartermaster also responsible for directions and 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 responsible for the crew, making sure they're doing it. So they have a big responsibility. Wow. But we'll learn that in another one of our later shows. But right now, why is the military so important? Uh, they're Fighter, yes. Different types of military. There's the Army, the Marines, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, National Guard, and of course the Navy SEAL. SEAL. I didn't know SEALs are, had military. Not those kind of SEALs. SEAL is in the military, which is a different type of career. In the Navy. In the Navy. Da, 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 in the Navy. Okay, we're not, don't quit your day job. We're not singing the, that song. We're teaching the kids how to respect the military. Even some of your parents and your family and friends are in the military. You should make fun of them. They are the front runners of our country. What they do, they protect our country from bad people. Really? Yeah. If it hadn't been for them, we would not be here. We wouldn't even be doing the show. So for them, we're here. So what do we do? What do we do? We salute and thank them for serving our country. Salute and thank them. So all you kids out there, if you see them, whatever military they are, always say thank you for serving our country and protecting it. We're glad you're home safely. Wow, that's all you gotta say. And smile, salute, stand tall and straight, out of respect, and shake their hand and walk away. I guarantee you will make their day. Wow. And if you can ask your teacher to take you on a field trip to show you where they work, how they do their job, they'll show you. So it's important to learn about what our military does. Navy, Air Force, Marine. Now the difference is the Navy is sea, like what we do. We go out in the sea, we have a big ship, we travel the sea, and we do like the pirates back in those days, fought against other pirates. They're the goods and the bads, and they took loots and made the queen booty big. Man, she must have a big butt. Not that kind of booty. Meaning booty, in another words, like finance, money, made her jewelries and all kinds of money to name to take, take care of England. Oh, I see, that kind of booty. Not, not big butt. No, not a big butt. Although they, you know, they wore things that kind of made their booty to look big. That's a different story that Booty, in a way, it's another word for loot. Oh, that could, okay, now I get it. Yeah, I had to figure that one out myself, too. So, that's why now we have the Navy, of course, the Navy SEALs, 
which is the high level of the Navy, they go out, they're kind of like the secret military, they hunt down the real bad guy. Wow. They have missionary, uh, mercenaries, which they're also kind of privateers, like buccaneers and privateers that go out and they're secret and they go out and take down the bad guys. Really? Yeah. Then they have the army. The army? They're the ground guys. Same thing with the marines. They're the ground guys. They're tough. Then they have the air force that flies. They fly all around the world. Like UFOs? Well, I don't know about flying saucers, but they do have all kinds of crafts and they fly around. And they have the National Guard, which is similar to the Army and Navy, which is uh, patrolling the state. National Guard, still responsible by the feds, but it's National Guard, which is, I believe, the state National Guard. And then they have the Coast Guard, which travels, protects the coastlines. You know, all the illegal immigrants or crimes or stuff. So the National Guard is kind of like the the Navy, the uh, mercenaries, and the SEALs, and, and, and police, and so they kind of a little bit of everything, and they're also rescue, so they do rescue and firefighting, so they got a lot of responsibility. Wow. So, what should we do? We thank them. Again, that's why it's so important to salute them, smile, say thank you for protecting our country and serving our country and coming home safely. You stand straight, salute, salute, and smile, shake their hand, and walk away. Say thank you. They will be ever so good that you did that knowing that they know that we appreciate them. Because a lot of times when the military comes over here, people forget them. They think that Oh, that's it, that's a job, and forget it. No, that's not nice. Don't forget about your military. Don't forget about them. When they come here, hire them. Because a lot of time, they study, they get sometimes five times more education than we have because they have to in order to do their job well. Wow. They do their job, they got to fight, and become strong as it. That's why we should hire them. Because they can help companies be more successful because they're smart and they know the tricks and against the bad guy. Wow. There's a lot of different fields in, in military that you could learn. When you come out, you could do a lot of great jobs and be successful too. A lot of these military guys are pretty successful in their job career. Wow, I didn't know that. Yep. So don't forget them. Even if they're injured, walk up, whether they have no leg or they have any kind of physical problem, Go up and smile and say thank you and salute them and give them a hug and say thank you. They appreciate that. They know that you care. That's why it's important. So, quick quiz. Why is the military so important? They protect our country. That's right. Two, what should we do? We should salute, say thank you, take their hand, and straight and smile and say thank you for saving our country and come home safely. That right? That's right. And smile, could they show that? Yeah. Three, why is it so important to hire them? Uh, because they're very smart and they're very well educated and they have no knowledge and no That's right. So always give the military person a chance. The men and women out there that serve our country do a great job. Rather to your parents, family, friends, whoever it is, always tell them and appreciate them. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Now we got a joke. Okay. A joke. All right. What are we going to say? Well, what did the chicken, why did the chicken, not what the chicken did, well, what did the chicken do? Why did the chicken cross the road? Uh... I'm not sure. To get to the other side. That's right. It's time to end, and we're going to the next show. See you next time on Captain Kilkman Time. It's time to say goodbye. 
as we sail away today and we'll be back. Bye! Happy sailing! Armity!